Tonight the team have travelled to North Yorkshire where we investigate a fortified manor house. Twelve fifteen, it's claimed that the Magna Carta was actually written in this area and that basically meant that kings in the area had a set of rules to follow. Built in the 14th century by William de Percy, this whole location has a shocking history. After rebelling against King Henry IV and losing a battle during the War of the Roses, this place was eventually destroyed during the English Civil War. But the real reason why we've come here tonight is to research a paranormal haunting where a woman with half of body is seen jumping from the tower above. Good evening spirits. My name is Kyle Thompson, this is Mark Gallagher and James Smith. We have come here tonight in search of the paranormal. We have heard stories that a female spirit has been seen jumping from the tower above. If you are here with us right now, is there any way you can alert us to your presence? Is there a way that you could do something on command? Possibly show yourself, do whatever you can right now to make us aware that you exist. Today won't like guys that were a bug. Let's just smoke it first. Spirits, while we've been walking round, getting a feel for the place, we've heard whistling. Like that. Did you hear that? Yeah, that wasn't even whistling, that was something moving. And it's gone right quiet. Oh, that's creepy. Over here. Whatever that is that's making that noise right now. Can you walk into this area where we are stood, if that's possible? Oh. I'm not even kidding, I've just seen a shadow. Right, so that place just down there, that's definitely a point of interest. We we're going to have to use some kind of equipment. Oh. I'm not even kidding, I've just seen a shadow. Oh. I'm not even kidding, I've just seen a shadow. Oh. I'm not even kidding, I've just seen a shadow. Just explain a bit further what it was that you saw. Yeah, uh, a shadow. Na I'm probably 80-85% sure it weren't my eyes playing tricks. A shadow maybe. That's small. That kind of right. But it weren't, if I saw it right, it weren't a form or a person. It was just literally a, a black mass. Animal, possibly. It didn't look like it had like a body. Didn't it? It, it was just, just a black mass. It was just a black, yeah. Like I said, there is that chance it was my eyes adjusting, but I'm pretty sure it weren't. What did you hear, James? I heard like a man's voice coming from in there as well, after he said that about the black shadow. I think at this point we need to make us way into the end call out a bit further. Right, so this is the place where I've seen the shadow, like I said, maybe this kind of right, moving in that direction. As you can see, there's an old window there. I can't tell you 100% if it went up or straight through, I've no idea. It's like, like you said though, it's not like a, just a simple walkway. <coughs> you can see foundation stones. Yeah. Is it some of the, were they all sort of walkway here before? Is it just something that's literally moved straight foot walk? Yeah, I'm, honestly I can't, you know it's what happens that quick, you can't quite take it in as such. So uh, it's claimed, so it's claimed that James heard a voice in this area, a male spirit. If you are present right now, I need you to do something in this room. Could you maybe speak to us right now? Could you show yourself as a ball of light? What's interesting about this place, guys, is it's so big. It's literally just hidden. It's a fantastic location. And we've only just started. Let's go to another time. Right, guys, so basically what we've done here is set up a REM pod. Mark's put this device on the ground. And the reason being is it's like a walkway. There's a doorway here. The shadow area where you believe you saw a shadow thing flow through the wall is literally there. James heard a voice. What have you just seen over there? Uh, strangely enough, a male voice which is strange, it's exactly the same room that James heard the voice earlier. 
So I think what we need to do is take a step back, call out, see if we can get any activity. Right, so I'm almost 100% sure I've seen you or something or someone. So you're obviously quite powerful to be able to show yourself like that. Please come back. What about this way towards us? Straight towards that device? If you're gonna hear it, that's all we need to do. The reason we've put that device on the ground is so that you can walk up to it and possibly affect that. That's why we're here, for validation and proof of your existence. We believe we've placed the device on a popular route where many people throughout the past will have walked. If you're here right now, please try and give us something on that device. Even if it's just one beep, one light. We know who you are. We know the history of this place. Right guys, so we've swapped locations. We've actually come to the entrance to the storage room, which is basically where James is actually stood right now. As you can see, we've placed the rental on the old staircase that comes down. The original part here is the, obviously the staircase that existed at the time. And if you look further up, it's been repaired and there's some coming stairs leading down. If anyone's here right now that can hear my voice, we've come here tonight to document proof of the afterlife. If you can see us or are aware of our voice, please try and set off the REM pod device. I know you will have seen one before. Come on, I'm pretty sure you are strong enough. I think you could play games, hide and seek. We're not here for hide and seek. I'll tell you what intrigues me the fact that this place is in Yorkshire and during War at Roses, they joined the opposing force. It seems very, very odd that that would happen. I know other places in Yorkshire will have done that, but this were a massive family that owned this place, the Percy family. How do you feel about losing that battle and having the property confiscated? Are you ashamed of what you've done? If you are, can you walk up to that device right now and illuminate it? We know that ghosts exist. We know that spirits exist. We've seen you with his own eyes. And that is why we are here tonight, to document proof of the paranormal. A lot of other spirits have affected this in the past in an amazing way. Show us how strong you are. If you want us to go, like I said, chuck either one off. Put it at a 45 degree angle, Mark, because from the past, we've had this device tilt forward, twist, and then fall back into 45 degrees. It's happened twice, and it's been caught on camera both times. I've got an idea here. Let's put on Paratech device. It's basically a free Ovulus that you can download from the Google Store. It's available on Android. Not too sure about, obviously, iPhone, etc. It's not available, I've looked. So I think if we put that on and we get the word bang come through, maybe it's some sort of sign from spirits that that's what's been going off here. Started scanning. And that's going. Open. Open. Straight away. This building is open. Yep. There's no roof on it, hardly. Just say uh, one word I want you to say through this device. Roses or rose. You know why? So if you could do that now, that'd be fantastic. Enjoy. 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 We are enjoying tonight. This is a fantastic location. Go try really hard. I want rose or roses. Nancy. Nancy, that's my mum's name. That's weird, we've never had that come through. No. Not gonna mention. But again, it's an old fashioned name. Correct. Of these places in history, 1500s. Mary. 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 Could this be the female spirit that's seen leaping from the tower? Did say the name of the king that was rebelled against in this place's history. Whistle. Did you hear that? Did you hear that? No. I definitely heard that. I did. Oh, what can I say about that? But it was the same time as a gust of wind. Yeah. Really need to look at that too, what that's it. Yeah, go away, you're not welcome here. We've not come looking for you. Or anyone associated with you. We've come for friendly spirits that's willing to communicate to show the people of this planet that when we die, it's not the end. Right guys, so something really bizarre has just happened to us. Um, we're all stood in the other part of the building and we both heard what we thought 
what B pin, like some sort of electronic B. Definitely B pin, yeah. Definitely 100% none of our equipment. But then these two, just explain what you heard. Yeah, well, first of all, the B pin sounded an awful lot like a rescue tower police radio. Um, so me and Jim both thought that at the same time, you would agree that's probably what it, what it, what it sounded like. Uh, and then basically after that we've heard voices, footsteps, absolutely all sorts. So we've kind of done a little bit of retreat so we can get a better angle to see what we're actually going off. There's no deer. I said, to, I said to him, I said straight away, there's no one here. We'd have heard them, they'd have been close. They'd have probably walked into the room that we walked. There's no one here. I can't explain what's just happened, but it seemed to be when we were asking the woman to actually leap from the tower and we also mentioned that spirits get kind of intimidated in this area from reports that we'd heard. Yeah. But what we're going to do now is while it's raining we've come to a kind of sheltered area like a gateway. Uh, we've placed the K2 meter on top of this old door so if that goes over there's no wind in here, there's no way that that can go over. It's got to be paranormal. That's solid stone, there's no way that, that can go over. This place was used during the War of the Roses. Could you maybe confirm that to us by saying the name of the war? General. General? General. Would there have been such thing as a general in wars back then? Civil wars of generals, I believe. I don't know if they existed at the mm. time in this area. Can you see this device on top of this doorway? It's called the K2 meter. Could you push that over? Phil. Can you tell me the colour of that device? That's a That's right. Yeah. Mm. Who's the female that's seen jumping in this area? What's your name? Before that, I heard like a, a woman gasp on it. Right. Right. <laughs> Is the same thing happening to you every day? Do you know that you're no longer trapped here? You can leave this place. What did the woman do? How did she die? Dead. We know that she's dead. We're sorry to hear that. But as I've always said, it's the curse of being human. At some point, we all die. We need to document proof that you are around us. The name of the family who oh, this belonged to at some point. Come on. Oh, that was a I dropped it off. Yeah, potentially. We know a female is seen jumping from there. Can you show yourself right now? You are not afraid of who you are. Tell us the name of the female that's seen leaping from that tower. Is there anyone here that needs help today? It's like a swimming pool. 
said come. We are on about into this part of the building. This is where we got to before. And we got a little panic here. Well, we're here right now. Why did you join the War of the Roses? We know that many manor houses did that during their time of existence. You got something, man. Yeah. What do you want? What do you want? What do you want? We want to communicate, sir. Right. Yeah, I don't know. I have an idea. Let's just rock with I've seen the old four looks now. See, yeah. what, see if it's a bit clearer for us. She's breaking up quite a bit, that device, isn't it? It is, isn't it? Yeah. I have something about this room. Okay. Right, guys, so we're going to walk around with the FCD04 box. The cultist box was working, but it would kind of block up. I don't know if the signal in this area is pretty bad. Mm. But we're going to turn this on and hopefully we get something else. We've heard a few things come through which were interesting. Yeah. But we're going to continue to walk around this whole area and hopefully something intelligent is captured on this device. Right, spirits, we're here to walk around once more. And we're looking for communication. Can you tell me the name of this manor house? Come on, try and communicate through this device. Annie. Whoa, there. Annie. Annie. Annie again. Annie, are you with us right now? Speaking to us. We're just after the story about the female more than anything, that's why we've come here. We want to know why you left. Did you fall? Was you pushed? Or did you commit suicide? What was that? He's done it three or four times on that. What like a fail? <laughs> yeah. A rocket. Right guys, so we're coming up to the end of our investigation. This time, we're just gonna simply walk around the building with the torches on while James is behind us. And what we're looking for is the shadow being to try and show itself, the spirit of the woman to leap from the tower. Anything interesting that might be captured on camera is what we're trying to get. And on that note, I think we'll walk around. Let's do it. Bring this investigation to an end. Right, spirits, we're going to be leaving this place shortly. We are looking for you. Try and show yourself, this is your last chance. We won't be returning for a while. We know that a woman has been seen leaping from the tower. Possibly people will have died here. There's no doubt in my mind that that has happened. If you could try and show yourself in the doorway, maybe walk past it, maybe try and show yourself to us. Do whatever you can right now. Show us that you're here. So I think what we need to do is go into that place where you saw the shadow. Yeah. Hopefully we can try and capture that on camera. James, if you just want to follow us in, just yep. to see if all comes behind us. What is that dark beam that Mark saw with his own eyes? He went through this wall. Right here. Come on. Did I imagine it? Were my eyes playing tricks on me? Well, am I correct that you were here? And you probably are still here. Definitely not a wall. We're not. No. 90% feel like it. No. 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 But it's kind of peaceful at the same time. Yeah. Isn't it? We hope that you are at peace. You don't have to remain here. We are going to leave this area shortly. We'll have one more walk around. Then we will leave this place. We want to thank you for taking the time to communicate with us. We are pretty certain that it's possible that we spoke to the woman who's believed to have leapt from the tower. I personally believe as well, the lady who leapt from the tower could be potentially called Mary. 
We were getting quite a lot of things through about the lady. And then the, the day Mary did come through, didn't it? Straight after it. Yeah. It's an absolutely amazing place, this. I know if, if I lived here, I'd probably want to still be here after I'd die because it's beautiful. The thing that really gets me is through the other side, the War of the Roses. The York family, the Joe State Lancashire's side. You rebelled against King Henry the Fourth, and this place was ruined in the English Civil War. You literally lost everything. It's the final time we will walk around this place for a while. We may return in the summer. When it's warmer, you can see more. But if you do want to show yourself, I need you to do that right now. This is your last chance to communicate with the living. Do not be alarmed by us. We mean you no disrespect, but in return, we want that back. Our name is Sorry for Paranormal. And we have come in search of the dead. We just want to say that the Percy family who had this manor house built, you've done a truly stunning job. And even now, this place is still visited by the public hundreds and hundreds of years after it was built. That brings us to the end of another fantastic investigation. We've never been here before, and to me it's just a truly stunning place. We've heard a lot of voices come through the spirit box, but we've also heard voices with his own ears. How have you felt about tonight? Have you enjoyed it, James? Yeah. I've been on edge, I'm not gonna lie. It felt really, really peaceful until we were them two beeps, sound like security radio and then physical voices that were heard. I honestly believed at the time it was some to do with living. We were gonna try and make a jump or do whatever. There's nobody here. The thing that kind of intrigued me the most was when we turned on the Paratec device. We called out asking for which king, you know, was affected, such and such. Yeah. And later on through the device, we got Henry come through and it was Henry the Fourth who was rebelled against. So for me, that's a little piece of evidence that we've gathered here. Obviously, if you're watching this video right now, then the things you've seen is what we managed to capture on the night. But at this exact moment, we just don't know what we've got. I've taken a series of photos, and there's at least two where I think we've actually potentially captured something. You're looking at those photos now, Thank you for watching Sorry Paranormal.